good to yeah. see you. Um, would you, you just tell us who you are for the camera and uh, what you do at Dugard? Um, I'm Sia, I'm technical director at Dugard. Basically, I look at all the technical aspects of the machines, whether it's accessories, different options, any uh, automation if it's needed for the machine. Uh, that's my role at Dugard. Okay, now with your experience looking at Kitamura, when this brand came under your umbrella, yes. Knowing what you know, you must have thought, wow, this is going to be really good for the company. Yes, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. We were, we were really happy to add Kitamira to our range because it was a it was different kind of machine um, like compared to the machines that we dealt with before. Uh, as, far as, uh, as far as accuracy goes, as far as the control goes, it was a really good addition to our range. Okay, now you've brought here to Mac two models, so we've just looked at the, the, the med center, yes. which is a small machine. Yes. Then you've bought here the, which is the Mitronion 4G. Yeah. Why did you select these two? Is it because they're contrasting machines, different sizes, weights, capabilities? Yes, yes. Basically, Mitronion range is designed for bigger parts uh, where you need more more tools, um, and if you need to, you know, it's more flexible to the size of the parts. It's a bigger envelope. Um, well, let's let's open the door because there's a couple of things on here I want to look at. The cameraman can get in. Let, let's firstly look at this rather neat um, selection here or this work holding solution. Uh, why have you done this and what is the, um, the reason behind that? Um, the main reason we use this sort of work holding is uh, you can, as, as you see, you can have multiple parts on it and it gives you the ability to run the machine and produce more parts on manned. And that's the main reason. There are many, um, there are many other solutions available in the market which you can use, but that gives you basically the flexibility to run the machine on man. Okay, I'm going to go back to real basics here as well because there's probably lots of people watching our stream that might have never seen a five-axis yeah. before. We don't know. Can you maybe talk to us about the axis movement? Which axis is what and what moves? Yeah, basically the structure of this machine is a bit different. This, as you can see, X and Y axis are on a gantry sort of type design. Okay, so basically yeah. this, this axis here is the X, so that yes. will move, let, the spindle will move left to right, and the Y axis comes forward, is that right? Yes, yes. that's so the, right. Okay, now that means then that the other movement, and the Z comes down, yes, that's and right. the other movement on the table is just the table rotating and, and also tipping. Yes, right. Now you said to me a very important point earlier about the, the way this is built like that means that you're moving the machine to the part rather than the part to the machine which is a better way of five axis machine in your opinion. Yes and it gives you it gives you more control over accuracy of the machine and machining more rigid so. Okay I want to now walk around the back because I'm just going to show you this and be careful with the uh, if, you, if you come this way Mr. Cameraman and, and see it. Always important to see the machines all the way round this is your swarf conveyor here. Now the swarf light, the mitronion, comes out the machine from front to back. But you have certain things that you offer when it comes to the swarf management, don't you? Yeah, basically we are, uh, because at Dugars we're more focused on um, running the machines on man. Swarf management is a big part of it. So what we offer on mitronion range is what we call the double deck swarf conveyor, which gives you the ability to deal with different kinds of swarf. This is not the actual one, but um, you can manage small chips, big chips, stringy swarfs, you can deal with all of them. Okay, which you need if you're going to run autom you know, automation yeah, and lights out and things. Yeah. Um, if we come back this way, see, this is your tool station here, this is your tool carousel. How many tools does this machine have? And, and, and you'd load them from yeah. here, would you? Yeah, a standard comes with 60 tools, uh, but you've got uh, various options. You can go up to 100 tools as well. But as you see, it's very easy and accessible tool magazine for loading and unloading tools. And I suppose the beauty of this is it's not in the working area is it so you're not getting great. you're not worrying that's about great. swarf things that's like that great. okay watch your step as well as we go back this way to the machine um, there's two other points I really want to pick out here the, the, the first one is the control system and some of the things you do to monitor the machine you know over long periods of time can yes. you explain what Kitamira do there um, basically aromatic control lets you uh, monitor the machine remotely through a software in the control which we call Anywhere Remote. So basically Anywhere Remote connects the internet through Wi-Fi or LAN cable and gives you updates 
for any status change in the machine when you're running it unmanned. For example, when you leave the machine running for the weekend, in case you're running out of coolant or the machine stops because of any alarms, you would get an email on your phone or on your mailbox and you, you know, it makes you aware of it so you can deal with it. So if you were setting up a machine like this to run unmanned over a long period of time, you would be able to remotely see how it's performing. I mean, I see here you've got machine temperature. Yes. So I suppose it's like a dashboard that really yes. keeps you in tune with what's happening. Yes. You, you can see everything, basically everything which is important when you're running on man. From machine temperature, you can even monitor your cycle times. You can monitor the tool wear. You can monitor every aspect of it. Okay, last one for you, Sia. Automation. Yeah. Uh, we looked at the med center that has, obviously, the, the, the pallet system yeah. with it. Do you, you, you provide like the cobots and all that kind yes. of facility, yes. don't you, at Dugard, to keep these machines going over long periods? Yes. Uh, basically, all of our, all of our Mitronian series, they come automation ready, meaning that we provide the interface so you can choose any type of automation of your choice from robots, from pallet system. The machine got the capability to integrate to those systems. Um, how impressed are the customers that have these now that you've sold them to? I bet you love selling them, don't you? You go in yes, there a few weeks course, later, yeah. yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. Really, really uh, good stuff. Um, yeah, I think we've covered all the points. Gantry yeah. machine as well. Uh, yeah. Brilliant, Sierra. I know you weren't looking forward to doing this interview, but I've got to say <laughs> you did a fantastic job. Thank so you very much. Thank, thank you very much for thank your you. time. Cheers.